guys, we've got some awesome news. We came out here in the barn this morning. Actually, she found uh, the dog first. The dog's name is Peaches, and she had one little baby, and she was outside of the barn. And, and she had dug a little hole, and instead, you know, instead of having her babies in here in the whelping box, she had her outside, and it was still pretty chilly in the morning, and the baby was cold and barely breathing. So, and Joas had already gone off to work, so I took the baby in and put a heat lamp over it, warmed it up with a towel, gave it a little bit of goat's milk, and, and we had, and all, I gathered the children and we prayed over that little baby. And it is doing, I mean, it started perking up, started moving around, and we came back out here, and the mother had four, uh, no, had three more babies. And she was licking them down, and then I put the little baby that had been sick, put her to the nipple, and she seemed to be doing better, but she still didn't latch on too well. And then, but I just left her and went back in. When I came back out, guess what? This little Skipper Key dog has five little babies. That is pretty amazing. No! Six. Six! I said it wrong. It has six little babies. Six babies. That's a large litter for Skipper Keys. They usually have uh, around four-ish. Sometimes they have five, but rarely six. So that's a good, it's a good litter. And they all seem to be doing pretty well, so we want to go show you. Guys, here they are. This is definitely not very good lighting here, but they, she has six little puppies and they are all doing amazing. That is just incredible. We are so happy. This is the first litter that we have um, in this new barn. So they are pretty special. And she seems to be a really good mom. She keeps licking them and loving on them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Wow. It's just so awesome about that little puppy that I wasn't sure was gonna live and seems to be doing okay. That's the one right there, yeah. Wow. Hey, there you can tell there are six of them. That is pretty awesome, wow. Thank you, Jesus. So, we are going to harvest garlic today. We have some here and then we have some over there, about two rows, you can see. And then we have um, about six different kinds of garlic. And each row has two um, rows with the drip line in the middle. So it, it, it waters both rows. So each row is a different kind. The first kind that we will harvest is, here is inchilium, or inchilium. And, um, how we harvest them, we just take a um, pitchfork and stab in the ground like that. And then we pull it up and then we can harvest them like that, just pull them up. And then we usually um, uh, take two at a time and then just hit the heads together to get the dirt off of uh, the roots. Then we just take off the dead leaves and stuff, and then we then we put them right in this wheelbarrow. So the first kind, as I said, this was um, inchilium, and 
this is a this garlic is a soft neck garlic so it doesn't produce any scapes so it, yes and then right here this is German white this these two rows are German white they are pretty big and these do produce scapes and then this is Persian star right here these two rows right here and these are called Amish and they also produce scapes and then these are Carpathian right here which um, produce scapes too and this is che uh, chestnut red we don't have a lot of these My strong young men have been working for a couple hours out here and it is pretty hot. It's almost 90 I think. It's about 90 degrees. So it is a hot one out here. And they're still working on this garlic. They got this whole patch down now. They took some in uh, by the lean-to in the barn and they still have a few here to pick up. They do an amazing job. They keep them all separate, every variety separately. How are you doing, boys? Good. Good. What are you wishing for? To go swimming. To go swimming. They'd love to go swimming. I'm not sure if it's going to happen, but I'll make them a nice cold smoothie here soon so they can enjoy that. And maybe they can even just jump on the trampoline with the hose running over it. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm also out here picking my first, uh, I'm doing my first pea picking. So I've been picking peas and I've got, I've got almost two gallon on this first row and then, then on the next row I'll probably get almost the same amount. So we'll have some fresh peas tonight. And the reason there's white on these peas, white powder, is because I put diatomaceous earth on here because the aphids were eating them. One morning, one day I came out here and there was uh, just a ton of aphids on here. So I decided absolutely not. I'm not gonna let the aphids eat my stuff. So I, I sprayed them with some bug spray, but then I also went down and got some um, diatomaceous earth and just sprinkled it over there and it's supposed to take care of aphids and bugs and ants. So. I, I think killed most of them. But anyways, yes, it's a hot one out here. I'm hot and sticky, but I, I won't complain because I love the summers. The winters are beautiful and stunning, but um, they can also be long and kind of dreary. So I am happy for this uh, summertime. so that they can dry out. So right now, this is, this garlic right here is elephant. So I'm gonna put it right here. And this kind is um, Georgia fire. Take a ribbon and and then we tie it on some the garlic right here. And then write with a marker what the name of the garlic is. And then we'll leave the piles of garlic here for a few weeks and that so that it can dry. Then we'll clean them. Oh, and 
and today, just this morning, we had... <laughs> oh, and this morning, just this morning, um, our dog, Peaches, had puppies, and she had six puppies, so we're really excited. They're very cute. Okay, I just came in from the garden. I was in the garden probably a couple hours, and I'm hot and sweaty, but look at all this produce. It's just so awesome to gather so many good veggies and fruit from your garden. So I am going to make dinner of mostly garden vegetables. Over here I have fresh potatoes. Somehow a little fresh potatoes from the garden just taste so much more tender and better than bought in potatoes. And over here I have lots of peas. The children are already cleaning some of the peas and lots of lettuce. I'm gonna make a great, nice big salad. Over here I have some, just some chicken legs that I'm going to throw on the grill to go with all our veggies. And right now I am in the process of making a smoothie for the children. Here is a whole bunch of um, greens that I had blended the other day from the garden that I'm gonna put in here. And this right in here is kefir. Kefir is even higher in probiotics than yogurt is, so that's why I make my own kefir. So I'll be adding some fruit and, uh, and those greens in here, and some frozen fruit and ice, and we'll have a nice cold smoothie. Also, I wanted to say, if you do have a garden and you have carrots and red beets, don't go throwing those red beet tops and those carrot tops away. Use, them, use the best leaves, like the best leaves of the red beet tops and the carrot tops and, and cut them off and use them in your smoothie. They are rich in vitamins and really good for your immune system. The boys are in from doing garlic and they are hot and tired, so I made them a smoothie. Taste it, boys. <laughs> And what do you think? Mm, it's very good. Good and cold? Mm -hmm. Lots of good stuff in there for you. And the other little kiddos are over here slowly working on, on <laughs> shelling the peas and drinking smoothie. But hey, I've got some helpers. All right. We invited a few friends, some family and friends because I just thought, what a waste, having so many good garden vegetables and not having anybody to share it with. <laughs> We're excited. Yeah, so we've got potatoes and we've got some um, chicken. Cucumbers um, in... Cucumber salad and red oh, beets and Priscilla's, green peas. Priscilla's famous iced tea oh, in the yeah. garden. It is delicious and I'm so excited about this meal. I'm so hungry. <laughs> And then we have some salad from the garden. And over here, I made some huckleberry sour cream pie. I will actually um, write the recipe in the description box below for you guys because <laughs> it is really simple and easy to make. And it was huckleberries that we picked up on the mountain. Well, our guests left, and now Priscilla and I came out. We're gonna do one last check on the puppies before bedtime. It's like 10:30 uh, at night, yeah. so we're gonna come out here and do a quick check. I hear them in here, so we're gonna see how they if everything is good. All right, let's go in and check to see how mom and the babies are doing. Wow, look at that! They're just falling over each other. How cute is that? Let's see if I can find the one that wasn't doing so well. I think it, it's, a, he's actually big. It was a, yeah, it's this one. He's a male and he was not doing well this morning, but man, he. He almost died, but yeah. Priscilla got him back to life. And <laughs> we prayed, the kids prayed and yeah. we all prayed and he started doing so much better. It was awesome to see, mm -hmm. it was good. And Peaches here is such a good girl, she's just a, Real people person dog. She loves, she's just so good to have us out here. She loves when we're out here. And uh, 
There's one nursing back there. Yeah, as you can tell, there's like, this one is a lot tanner. Yep. It's like a little tan one, and then there's others that are really white, more a lot white. lighter. Yeah. The darker ones go after their dad a little bit. He's slightly, he's trying to nurse. There's, he's slightly darker. And there's Percy. She's going to have puppies here in a couple weeks, so maybe we'll have some chocolate babies. That'll be her first. What do you think, Hershey, huh? What do you think, girl? Yeah, good girl. Well, and this, this Dura welt, we really like this because it's got this rail that goes out around the outside here, and it keeps Mama from laying on the babies. They can kind of escape underneath there accidentally from her accidentally laying on there. So I think we'll probably leave them alone. It looks like they're doing good, and they probably going to snuggle with Mama. Well, thanks for watching this episode of Montana Haven. This is another day uh, in our lives. Yeah. And uh, it's, it was a good day. And it was so awesome for me since I was gone at work. It was so awesome for me to, to know that Priscilla was taking care of the puppies and the boys were uh, pulling all the garlic. Mm -hmm. It was just, it's incredible. So I'm really proud of my family. I love them all so much. <laughs> so thank you for watching and uh, hope you enjoy this day in our lives. Yeah. So God bless you. Mm -hmm.